Hi, this is Walt Mossberg, personal technology columnist for the Wall Street Journal. And today I want to talk about one of the big disconnects in the digital world. And that's the disconnect between two trends. One is the trend toward all those purchases of big screen, high definition TVs. And the other is the trend toward watching lots and lots more video over the internet. People are doing both, they're just not doing them together. Internet video is typically watched on computers, not on those beautiful digital televisions that millions of people are putting into their homes. Now some big names in uh, technology have tried to bring these two things together. Uh, Microsoft, Apple, TiVo, others have made various kinds of boxes or solutions that attempt to get all that internet video on your TV, but it just hasn't taken, it just hasn't uh, uh, become widespread or popular. Uh, so this week I looked at two new television adapters, television set-top boxes that are trying to do the same thing. One is from Sony, obviously a very big company. One is from a much smaller company called Roku, R-O-K-U. Um, in my tests, both of these boxes work very well. But they both have limitations that I think uh, uh, make them uh, unlikely candidates to be the uh, product that will finally, on a broad scale, marry these, these two trends. Uh, the Sony box is called the Bravia Internet Video Link, and uh, it allows you to watch on a TV uh, a whole uh, variety of video from a whole variety of internet sources. Uh, for $300, which is what the box cost, and no subscription fee. Uh, you can watch uh, videos from YouTube and Yahoo and Blip TV and AOL. And soon you'll be able to watch uh, video from a new service uh, being planned by Amazon, which will stream movies and TV shows over the Internet. The problem is that the Sony, Sony Bravia Internet Video Link only works with Sony TV. So if you don't have a Sony TV, you're out of luck. It's really meant to promote the sale, I think, of Sony TVs rather than to solve the big broad problem. The other box is much simpler and much less expensive. It's a $100 product, a very simple rectangular cube from Roku, and it uh, works with almost any TV. It doesn't even have to be a digital or a high def TV. The problem with this one is it's only designed to bring in content from one source, and that's Netflix. In fact, it's called the Netflix Player. Now, uh, Netflix is very popular. It has uh, uh, thousands and thousands of movies and TV shows that you can watch over the Internet, over 12,000 actually. And once you've loaded your Netflix Instant Queue on your computer with whichever ones of those you want to watch, the Roku box will, in fact, uh, let you watch them on your TV, and it worked fine in my tests. But again, here's a, a box that, even though it works on a lot of TVs, doesn't let you do any Internet video other than Netflix. It's really designed to promote Netflix. So if you're a Sony TV owner or a Netflix lover, these two products may be great for you, but they don't really solve the fundamental industry-wide problem of how do you get all that Internet video onto all those big screen TVs. Thanks, this is Walt Mossberg, and I'll see you next week.